Ontario. And let's not wait anymore. Come follow me inside. State of mind session IPA. What does it smell at first? Sour pumpkin saison. Pumpkins. Citronui in French. So say citronui saison. <laughs> Can I call it that? <laughs> We're going in for the tour. I have my safety goggles. Things are operational and you have to keep your hands and <laughs> arms and legs inside at all times. <laughs> they know me too well. I think it was a warning more than a... <laughs> the bottling line is in operation. It reminds me of Wayne's World when they put the glove on and they pretend to be in that other movie and it goes along. But regardless, it's super cool to see it cruising along and it goes right from the beer, nice and fresh, into the bottles and away to you in your living room. Okay, yeah. so Collective Arts Brewing was founded on the belief that creativity inspires everything. So they've done an amazing job here bringing in music, um, artists, and craft beer. The reason why I discovered them in the first place. And you can also, if you're an artist or a musician, you can submit your artwork whatever it is that you have to the collective arts and they will uh, think about putting you as a label on a bottle. So basically if you see behind me, a lot of their beers have different labels. You should see their label machine. It's pretty insane. Bernie and I have labels for our dog food, but we print out like a roll of a hundred of like the same label and then like, so we meet again goes on to the meat blend. But these guys have actually every label is different on their giant roll of labels back there. So it's pretty special what they're doing and they're really sticking to their guns. So I'm gonna ask Dan, the lovely man that showed us around today and is kind of in charge of super awesome things here. Um, to tell us a little bit about submitting your artwork and deadlines maybe and just kind of, yeah, put it in a nutshell for me. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um... Like we already previously mentioned, um, you can submit your artwork that's, uh, you notice right behind you. We give a little bit of cash incentive, which is always good for uh, our collective art projects out there. Um, we also link each artwork to your bio, um, which gives you guys the, I guess, the publicity and the mention that you guys deserve. The, the latest call for art is due in about a few weeks, so you need to get those entries in soon just so uh, we have the time to send them to our panel and get you guys on some awesome beers. Thanks, Dan. No, You're not awesome. A I love it. Yeah, I'm great. Yay! <laughs> and I will not be submitting. Hold on, I want to talk about what I'm not submitting. I will not be submitting because I can only draw stick figures. All my creativity is in my mind. <laughs> Scan the labels. All the Collective Arts labels are embedded with image recognition technology. To see the art come to life, download the Blipar app on your smartphone and simply scan the label. Up comes the picture, and then you can also find the bio on the artist. Alright, we're at uh, 207 Burlington Street in Hamilton. I've uh, been at this location for a few years now. Um, this used to be the old Lakeport Brewery, used to be the old Amstel Brewery, um, and even a brewery before that, but we're really looking forward to this being the last of that name, staying Collective Arts, uh, proudly brewed in Hamilton um, for as long as we want to keep this brand going. Uh, thanks for all the support, Hamilton. We appreciate it. So it's important to stand out in the world, especially when you have a business that a lot of other people are doing. And these guys are obviously craft brewing and brewing beer, like a lot of companies are, but they're standing out. And they're bringing that sort of collective together and they're combining arts and craft beer and music. And I also absolutely love it. You notice in my business, I do some unique things too that maybe help me stand out. Maybe you remember when you see me or when you catch a video. But regardless, they're doing great, great things down here at Collective Arts. And I'm so happy to have the tour today. And I'm so happy to live close to it. And I'm so happy to drink their beer.